Nigeria gives another Arabic country wutu wutu. These Arab countries. <laughs> you know these Arabs, eh? Sometimes I always tell Africans, no matter say we don't like Europe, no matter say we don't like America, <laughs> they are still far better than these Arab countries. You remember the last story of a Nigerian in Egypt? What happened to the Nigerian in Egypt? He was just transiting from Egypt to Israel. Egyptians won't finish that man. If not of say he's a Nigerian who is smart so you can imagine how many other victims how many nigerians and africans have been complaining about morocco casablanca airports these are raps guys we're supposed to be very careful with them but nigeria is not a country to take it it's a no-nonsense country they don't take nonsense from anybody you understand so nigeria has given another arab country wutu wutu and this time around we are talking of the united arab emirates famously known as dubai a lot of people say Dubai, Dubai, Dubai is just a city, you understand? But it's the United Arab Emirates, UAE. Nigeria don't give them wutu wutu. To the point where the guys have to cancel the visa ban they placed on Nigeria. You have been seeing it everywhere on social media. That UAE has uplifted the ban. UAE don't uplift ban where they put for Nigeria. Visa ban, visa ban on Nigeria has been uplifted. So Nigerians can now go to Dubai. But guys, let me discuss with you in this video. The real reason why they uplifted the visa ban, why they even ban Nigerians in the first place, because many Africans are misinformed. We need to fight against misinformation in Africa. Why did we ban Nigerian visa in the first place? And why have they uplifted it? What did Nigeria do there? <laughs> don't play. Don't play with Nigeria. So for those Ghanaians and Africans who said, UAE ban Nigeria from going to UAE or Dubai because of their character, because of Ashawo, because of they have so many reasons they outline claiming that that's why UAE does not want to see Nigerians. It's all lie. That is a very, very massive lie. That's not why UAE ban Nigeria visa. Now, let me tell you the truth before I start telling you what Nigeria has done for them to uplift the visa ban. Okay? Now, the Fly Emirates, which is one of the Dubai owned, you know, companies in aviation, Fly Emirates. Normally, they used to come to Nigeria in one week. Eh? They can come to Nigeria at least, like, let me just say, one week they can come like 11 times to Nigeria, 15, 20 times. They are going back and forth in Nigeria in one week. And in exchange for that, hmm? they allow Nigeria flight air peace to go to Dubai only once. As in they want to be the one collecting all the money. They didn't want Nigeria Airpeace to be frequenting Dubai. As a matter of fact, in Dubai airport, they even give Nigeria Airpeace, I think it was one small place like that for them to come and park. So they were not mutually respected. They wanted to make money off Nigeria. They wanted to be car because Nigerians get money. Nigerians, they go to Dubai back and forth every day. There are some Nigerians who go to Dubai every month. Every month they go to Dubai. So the Fly Emirates, this Dubai company, this Dubai government, this UAE, they wanted to use Nigeria to chop money, use Nigeria immigrants to chop money, but they did not want Nigeria owned air companies like Airpeace and other, you know, like Nigeria government to also make money from the traveling stuff. So Nigeria said, okay, you now uh, uh, Fly Emirates, you now this Dubai people, you now UAE, I am not going to accept you coming to Nigeria again. Nigeria gave them a full ban. UAE, no flight Emirates is coming to Nigeria. Nigeria stopped them. That was Buhari. You understand? He's the one that stopped them. So back in 2022, since then, so when they stopped them, UAE now convex. Say, okay, you don't want our fly Emirates to be coming to Nigeria. We will ban Nigeria visa. We don't want Nigerians to come to Dubai again. That's how they take ban Nigeria visa. So it was not because Nigerians are doing anything in UAE for those of you who carried it on your head to say it's because Nigerians they do Yahoo, Nigerians they do this, Nigerians they do Asha, Nigeria. That was not the reason why the visa was banned in the first place. I've just explained it to you now. People will get sense, go understand. And you cannot blame Nigeria for doing what is right. You fly Emirates, Dubai companies, UAE companies cannot enjoy all the benefits in Nigerian airports. And Nigeria flight companies like Airpeace and others cannot fly to Dubai and enjoy benefits. So it's either we benefit all of us mutually or there's nothing. 
So forget about those negative people who have carried it on their head. But now that Nigeria has got a new president, Tinubu has got to them, he said, okay, this is the new term, this is a new government, this is the new agreement. How are we doing it? How are we doing it? Fly Emirates is making a lot of money by coming to Nigeria. They know how much they have been losing beside the flight. Now, imagine all the Nigerian, uh, forget about Nigeria where they go to Dubai, go work, oh, all those ones that go to struggle and build their life in Dubai. Forget about those ones. Let's talk about the Nigerians who go to Dubai on tourist visa, as business people, on vacation. Do you know how many of them in a month? Do you know how many of them go to, to Dubai, go to UAE every month to go and do shopping, to go and buy things, to go and spend time and how much they are spending? That is billions and billions of dollars that is entering UAE from Nigeria pockets every single year. So imagine that Dubai has sat and calculated how much they have been losing from Nigeria pockets from 2022, 2022 till now. They themselves have seen that, no, it's not going. We are losing money. If we cannot work with Nigerians, we are... Because no matter the visa, the visa they are giving Cameroon Ghanaians, you know, they have there. We all know that's the truth. The spending power of those Nigerians is what gives them money. So that's why they have now decided to beg. Hmm? UAE has decided to beg Nigeria. Beg Nigeria to, to give them visa free and arrange their struggles, settle their problem. Set their problem now so Nigerians can be going to Dubai and spending money so Dubai can continue making money from Nigerians. That is the reality of this business. For those of you who don't understand, this is exactly how the business is going. So Dubai is good, but you have to give air peace because a Nigeria company should be making money. The Nigeria government should be making money. If not, you go hear another ban because if you do anyhow, Nigeria will still give them anyhow. It is what it is. You know how it be. Your boy had your magazine on this one again. Smash the like button. Smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free. Because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheers.